If you're a young man such as myself scrolling Instagram, then you've probably seen Dr. Squatch Natural Soap. Dr. Squatch is a men's personal care company founded in 2013. Maybe. They claim to sell 100% natural, better for your skin than the other stuff, honest to goodness quality product. And like I was saying earlier, you might have seen one of their ads. Listen up, the soap you shower with, it's Ads showcasing vitality, attraction. Oh, that smells really good. And whatever this is, which you're sure to achieve after using their product. So naturally, desperate for a pickle, I bought everything on their site. Okay, so this is a box. What's in the fucking box? Jesus Christ, did you not read the title? An eclectic selection of products. And so I began the first of my tests. A nasal adventure through aromatic sensations. Mmm. I, I really like the smell. Not only did they smell great, but they awoke something within me. I was using my nose like never before. Worst to best smelling. That's how I rate them. So essentially I'm going to be judging the soaps on a bunch of different factors. First of all, does it smell good? Yes, dumbass, we already established that. But how do they compare to other soaps? So these smell, well, they smell fun. They smell fresh. This smells like the suburbs. There's literally no better way to describe it. It just kind of, it kind of is. Which is exactly why I threw them all away and replaced them with the Squatch. Now that I got rid of my old soap and replaced it with Dr. Squatch, I was ready to begin my experiment. Before that, I needed to do a control test, so I headed up to the rooftop of my apartment building and sat down next to a random woman. Okay, what? Why am I doing this? Well, according to the Dr. Squatch ads, all the babes will be all over me after I use their product. Can I smell like this? <sighs> if you smelled like this, I'd probably give them a little bit more loving. <laughs> Which is why it's important that I do a control test to prove to you that it's not just my natural musk. As you can see from that clip, she basically fled the scene. I'm hoping I'll have different results in a month. So without any further ado, let the testing commence. I've never done a, uh, a nude video before. This is quite exciting. It smells very good. Not Thus concludes day one of testing. Do you like the smell? Okay, it's been a month, which I've convinced you of because I'm wearing a different color shirt, and we've got some results. Not only do I really like the soap, but this time when I went up to the top of my apartment building, this happened. So as you can see, Dr. Squatch really delivers on everything that they promise. I finally got to eat a pickle. It's it's a genuinely good soap. I've been using it for six months now, and I, I've bought it multiple times. Like, it's, it's really good. How good, you ask? Well, smell, that's 10 out of 10. I absolutely love the smell of this stuff. There's also like 20 other soaps that I didn't even try, so I'm sure there's even better ones. Cleaning ability, I'd give it a 7 out of 10. It's not quite as good as your traditional soaps, but then again, you don't really want to wash yourself with Dawn. That brings me to my next point. How does it feel on your skin? Great, I give it a 10 out of 10 as well. I'd say that this is probably the most noticeable thing. Like, my skin is legitimately softer. Lastly, value for money. I really like Dr. Squatch, I'm a repeat customer, but it's just a little expensive in its market, so 7 out of 10. This gives us an average grand total of 8.5 out of 10, and I absolutely recommend this product. If there is a downside to Dr. Squatch, it's that occasionally when I'm showering, the people from Finding Bigfoot will just kind of appear in my window. Holy fuck. Why is Squatch since went off and she's never wrong? But you know what, at the end of the day, it's a small price to pay for some really fucking good soap.